In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the free download manager software on Windows. So to get started, open up your browser and then head over to freedownloadmanager.org. Normally, I would say check the description of this video for the link, but I accidentally deleted all my descriptions for all my videos. So I want to avoid seeing that. Anyway, so after you head over to this page, just click download for Windows. And it should get downloaded to your PC. So for now, it is being downloaded. I'm going to close here. I use Vivaldi. If you're using Chrome, you should see the download option up here. Chrome or Firefox, you should see it up here, I think, for Firefox. So after it is done downloading, you want to open the folder, your download folder, and then double click to start the installation process. So I'm going to click install for all users. And then you're probably not seeing this part of the screen, but you should see yes or no so click yes after that click ok next just keep clicking next and install and then wait for it to get done installing i'm going to minimize these pages or windows so it is done installing uh, let me close this i'm going to minimize my browser and then i'll click finish okay so the free download manager will just open up on its own you don't have to click on it to open it so what you want to do now is click here click preferences and then click browser integration it will show you a list of all the browsers you have I currently don't have Chrome or Firefox so if I click here you'll see that I have Vivaldi it is the only browser that I installed myself Edge came with Windows so that's why it is here so click on the browser you have a new page is going to open up on your browser. If you are using Chrome, this button will say add to Chrome. But since I'm using Vivaldi, it is saying add to Vivaldi. So click on it. And then if this shows up, just click add extension. Okay, so the extension has been added and you can see it up here. So you should do this on all the browsers you have. Make sure you install the extension. Then come back to free download manager and then there are a few options you need to click so this one should be checked if you want to just start downloading files without having to confirm you should also select this i like it being selected uh, for now we don't have to go through all the settings because this video will get too long and i know you want to get started with downloading files check it and check what you want and what you don't want and if you have any questions you can leave the question in the comment and i'll try to respond as soon as i can Okay, so after you're done with this, you can go back. And from here on, each time you want to download anything, if I click download now, Vivaldi is going to do the download for me. You can see it over here. If I click this, you'll see that Vivaldi, not Vivaldi, FDM is doing the download for me. So you can see the download progress. And if for some reason you really want to download something using your browser, not FDM, what you need to do is to press the insert key on your keyboard. So press it and then click on what you want to download. And instead of FDM downloading it, you'll notice that it will be downloaded by the browser. Let's try it again. This time I'll download this file since it is larger. So you guys can see it is being downloaded by Vivaldi. So a few options that you need to know um, FDM can download torrent files for you and the one feature I like about FDM is this feature where you can switch the internet speeds so if you have a lot of people connected to your Wi-Fi network then if you're using the unlimited speed option whenever you're downloading anything it's going to download the file as fast as possible which means that others may not be able to use your internet so maybe they may be having buffering issues while streaming videos on on youtube or other video platforms so i would recommend you go for either medium or low this is if others are having issues while you're downloading but if they are not then you can just stick to the high internet speed and there's also the snail mode if you click on this you can see that um, it downloads files at the slowest possible speed but it makes sure that uh, the download does not stop I don't normally use this, but the option is there. So hopefully you found the video helpful. Like I said, ask me any questions you may have. And yeah, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Subscribe, take care, and bye-bye.